One thing that really is an absolute essential if you're going to even consider selling to restaurants, and that is a fresh sheet. So what a fresh sheet is, is basically just a list of what you have on offer each week. It's as simple as that. And, but you need to be consistent with it if you want consistent sales. You can download this on my, download this on my website, just go urbanfarmer.co slash book. There's a thing called free extras. Download it, get the sample, rip it off, use it however you like. Um, the basics of it are there. And so this, for, on my farm, this comes out every Monday. So uh, you know, I, I might do it Sunday night or I'll do it early Monday morning. And it's going to be, I want to get it to them well before their orders are due. So in the summertime, I'm taking orders on uh, Tuesday, no, sorry, Monday afternoons into Tuesday morning and delivering Tuesday or uh, anytime before and then delivering Friday. So you got to have your fresh sheet to that chef, you know, 12, 18 hours before they're going to order so that they have lead time to see what you've got. But uh, you got to be consistent with it. I have a template that I use. I use a program called MailChimp. That's just a email, uh, mass email program. It's free if you have, you know, under a thousand people on your list, which is no problem for a small farmer. And I just have a template and I just replicate that template each week and then modify the products in there based on what I have each week. So it's, it's simple. I'll go in and, okay, I don't have spring onions this week. Just delete it. Okay, I've got two types of carrots this week. Copy and paste that one and then put rainbow carrots and then the price or so on and so forth. It's really simple. Um, information is always down below that's static. You know, order cutoff times for Friday deliveries, so on and so forth. Minimum order delivery. Uh, we, you know, set that minimum to whatever is economical for you. For me, if you're in the downtown, it's got to be $75 or more. If you're outside of downtown, it's got to be 100 or more. Um, but it's even, it even goes higher um, depending on how far you weigh, but that's just up to you as the farmer to figure out what that value for you is. Um, I always have an option. This is one thing that really works well with chefs. If your farm is local and you're, and this is where urban farmers have this huge advantage, is if you're in the city and restaurants are close to you, if you have the option to pick up, they'll love you because they'll, they want fresh, right? And so they would prefer to buy product from you more often than buy huge amounts and sit on it. Cause that way they're selling a fresh product to their customers and they can brag about that and that's what they'll get known for. So if you have the option to, to have a pickup whenever, then you've got, you can really crush it with the restaurants. And so what we've done is basically just have, we always have product in our coolers and so um, we're harvesting stuff when it's ready, not when it can be sold, just when it's ready. So there's always stuff in the cooler. I'm going to deliver to restaurants every Tuesdays and Fridays, but I might get a call on a Wednesday afternoon. And somebody's like, hey, do you have, can I get some of this? And I'll say, well, I've got some greens. I don't have that, but I've got this. They'll go, great, I'll come pick it up. And they'll just take whatever you can get. And so you can build those relationships with chefs. They'll continuously come to you and they'll really lean on you. And that there's a lot of scalability in those relationships when you do that. But a lot of that starts with having the infrastructure in place to always have them familiar with what you, what you have. So this, the fresh sheet here is, is a mobile friendly. That's why it's long and narrow is because all these chefs are doing stuff on their phones. So it go, gets emailed or even text message to them every week. And then they can just look at it. They're sitting in their kitchen, looking in their walk-in cooler with their phone. They're going, I need this, 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 this. They'll text message you right away or email you right away or phone you right away. And that's one of the things with chefs that, you know, becomes a little bit of maintenance is that they, you got to talk to them a lot. And grocery stores are a great customer if you can get it consistently because you just tell them what you got and they'll have a standing order and you just show up with that every week. With chefs, you know, you're on the horn all the time with them back and forth. They want to, what's this product? I want to change the menu here. It, it can be a lot of work. Um, so going back to the fresh sheet, Case lot system is what is the most common. So you units, your unit sizes, it's simply scaling up like what I did at the farmer's market where I had a, a $3 unit. On a fresh sheet, I've got you know, a, a, a case unit. It could be a, a specific pound weighted weight. So I sell radishes in a six pound case bag for $25. Some things I sell by the pound, but a lot of stuff, it's, it's a case. So all of my greens are a $20 case bag. And that just makes it easier for them to think about what they need.
They're just used to seeing a certain unit and then they'll go, oh yeah, I need two more bags of this a week. It's just simplifying it for them. You wanna make it as easy as possible for them to do business with you. The harder it is, they're gonna go the path of least resistance and find the easiest person to, to buy from. And so, some farmers are a total disaster. They just, they have great product, everything about their farm is beautiful, but they just cannot manage accounts. They're hard to deal with. They, you know, they're hard to get on the phone. So you got to have systems in place to be able to do business with them easily. And certainly having multiple lines of communication is going to be one of those. You can be, you can, they can phone you, they can email you, they can text message you. That's certainly, if you, the more, the more ways to communicate that you have, the more people will communicate with you.